saint of God, are you feeling unappreciated, used, unloved, lonely, and perhaps even forsaken? Then know that you are tasting of some of the suffering that Jesus Christ went through while on this earth. For those he came to save hated him without a cause. Those who professed to be of God scraped and dug, looking for something to accuse him of, looking to find anything that would turn the hearts of the people to hate him. They stalked him, they overheard his words, they falsely accused him. They heard his words and they hated him for bringing to light the evil in their hearts. They hated that feeling of conviction being imposed upon them. They thought themselves to be in right standing with God. They did all the right things, they said all the right things, but their hearts were far from God. They crucified him to shut him up, but his word is still here today. His spirit is still in his children today. He lives in spite of them, and they shall weep and they shall wail because of him. They thought they were not going to be held to account, but all those who hate him shall look upon him whom they pierced. David suffered, and he wrote, Hold not thy peace, O God, of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer, and they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. We do not suffer that which is not common to all men and women. Think it not strange when you are persecuted in any form, saints. It is because people hate the God that is in you. It is written that Jesus said, If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. David wrote, Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. 
This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence. O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Those who do not love God nor manifest the fruit of his character and nature hate you because they know the spirit that is in you is in opposition to the spirit that is in them. Satan doesn't play nice. He plays dirty. He lays in wait for the chance to claw you to pieces and spit you out. He shows no mercy, for there is no mercy in him. His one goal is to get you to deny God. In this day and hour, Satan and his children believe they have the upper hand. They see our destruction in their crosshairs. They chirp, they mutter, they salivate, they lick their lips, they jump for joy in their inner being, unaware that they are heaping coals of fire upon their own heads. So stand fast, no matter what Satan throws at you, for his end is near at hand. Some people take pleasure in inflicting distress upon others. In fact, they revel in it. Little do they know nor understand that they too shall soon enter into judgment, and the measure of judgment that they have used to judge others shall be in turn used upon them. All evil people shall understand in the end the pain and anguish and suffering they have dished out to others. That is why there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Remember, when you are sad, the Lord is sad. When you are broken, he is broken. He sees all things, he knows all things. All things and all people are naked in his sight. Nothing is hidden from him. When our hearts break, he is always there to remind us that his was broken first. Vengeance is his and he shall recompense you. He will fight on your behalf. So rest in him, saints. Pray for your enemies, saints of God, that you may be the children of your Father who is in heaven. Be able to say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. For what they do to you, they do to Jesus Christ himself.